be positive. If it's negative, you just take the absolute value to get the amplitude. So that's six. And now for the period, this one half, it's going to have the reciprocal effect on the period. When it's grouped with the X like that, it's gonna have the reciprocal effect. So that means instead of being the period of normally two pi for sine, it's gonna be two pi times two, which is four pi. If you want a formula, some students use this formula, two pi divided by B, and this is like your B value, so you'd say two pi divided by one half. When you divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's where we're getting our period of four pi. Now what I would do is I would divide this up into four equal pieces here. And so that means our scale on the x-axis is gonna be pi, two pi, three pi, four pi. And when we graph our sine graph, it starts at this midline here. It goes to the maximum, back to the midline, down to the minimum, back to the